Hey, what's going on guys? The date is October 13th, 2022. It's a great freaking time. And I just wanted to document a nice little achievement I had yesterday. I got paid for the month of September and I made about $90,000 in September. The biggest check I got was 62 grand. So I posted that up on my Instagram story. And uh, if you watch this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the things that helped me get to that level. If you've been following my YouTube channel for the past five years, you've kind of seen these progressions. So I'm gonna recap that a little bit because I think most people that see this video probably haven't been watching me religiously. I don't get a lot of views. It is what it is, but I'm 29 years old right now. And I'm chasing that first six figure month. I'm trying to make $100,000 in one month. And I'm very close. I actually didn't realize how close I was last month until I calculated it all out. And I have also hired my sister-in-law, my wife's sister, uh, to work with me too, because the business is just getting big and it's just fun to bring family in so that you can share these wins with them, help them escape their nine to fives too especially if you're the entrepreneur in the family. Like one thing I've learned is not everybody is obsessed with money like I am and like most of you guys watching this video are. So if you can build a business that you can plug your family members into or your friends into, that's a really cool thing because you know you could be greedy and try to take all the money for yourself, but it it's much more satisfying to me to try to build a business that the family can get in on and we can all get share that excitement together. So when I have a big day, I split some of it with, you know, with her too, but we split the excitement as well. So I love it. Um, so point of saying that is, is I'm going to probably need to make 125,000 for my first hundred thousand dollar month. Don't really have a ton of expenses except for traveling and stuff if I'm making content. So, you know, we can definitely do it. We're close, but it's been a journey and there's been progressions to get to this point. So first thing that happened to me was when I was 22 and really started when I was 19, I was trying to get on a reality TV show. I guess before that, basic training in airborne school in the Army National Guard helped me just sleeping out in the woods in the rain and just having some shitty days, having drill sergeants yell at you. And that made me tough because I was really weak. I was really weak minded. I even went through a stretch where I was suicidal, which is hard to believe. But man, I was just weak, guys. I had a really easy life coming up. I had great parents. I lived in a good neighborhood. So I was really soft. Army gave me a lot of confidence, gave me some challenges um, that were you know, set up for me to have success and build confidence. And that's where you really saw me turn into an alpha male that I am today. Thank goodness for that. And uh, right after that, I went on the MTV show, Stranded. I gained a lot of things from that. I ended up winning that show, so I made some money. But uh, just being out there, being on camera, learning how to talk into the camera was huge. I mean, what I'm doing right now is not easy to do. It's not easy to sit in a room and talk to <laughs> a little brick camera where you see the recordings on. It's really awkward at first but I've been doing it for years now, so I can do it a lot more naturally, which is extremely, extremely important. I mean, you'll see at the end of this video how I made the $90,000 have to be able to talk on camera with confidence. I also gained perspective out there because it was recording in Fiji, and a lot of people have never traveled internationally. Anytime you travel internationally, you get much better perspective and understanding of how great it is in America and just how different it is in every little place. Fiji's awesome, man, but they live in villages. They have dirt grounds, you know, in their houses and uh, they're, they're doing everything as like a tribe, as a village. And it is really cool. It's not a bad life, but it's very different. And seeing those village kids, man, seeing their happiness, they had nothing, but they were extremely happy people like way happier than people here that live in mansions, even myself included sometimes, you know, I'm not the most grateful, I try to be, but you guys know how that is. And that was a huge lesson for me being out there. And so gaining perspective and gaining the camera skill, right? Those were the, the two big things and there's a lot more, but those are the two uh, big ones. Moving into the next stage, it was really eBay resell. So I was reselling stuff online and from like 22 to 25, 
I was living a good life where I didn't have to work a job. I was going to college too still at that time. And I was probably making like two to 4,000 bucks a month, living happy, living free, just going to Ross, Mar Marshalls, Nike outlet, Under Armour outlet, and uh, just selling stuff on eBay. So I didn't have to work a job and I lived a good life, man. Um, but I wasn't building wealth as fast as I wanted to. I wanna be a millionaire, man, and I wasn't, I wasn't getting to that point. So I got a job, a nine to five W2, making $4,400 a month as an army recruiter. And that was a blast. It was a ton of fun and I loved recruiting and I learned, wow, I am, I'm just a natural born recruiter. I'm very, very good at recruiting. And um, I had a lot of fun with it because I was so good at it and I just enjoyed helping people, mentoring people. That's why really I enjoy these YouTube videos too, is just sharing game with people and sharing things that you learn to kind of help them in their journey. I'm 29 now, so it's really easy for me. And I'm one of the most successful 29 year olds you'll ever find. So it's really easy for me to give good advice to an 18, 19 year old coming up. Um, but the problem with that was it was a job and I had a boss and there's just a lot of BS, you know, that comes with jobs, mandatory meetings that are pointless, an hour long meeting, you drive down to the office, sit in it and you're like, dude, we didn't really accomplish anything here. That's life. And then, you know, you have kind of mandatory lunches and, and stuff and award ceremonies and all this nonsense that's just wasting my time. And emails random emails coming up that you have to respond to you have to get this form signed by your doctor your dentist all this nonsense and it's part of having a job but i'm someone who likes to wake up and work out and accomplish things and only do things that are productive that's just me that's just how i'm i'm wired and i didn't like a lot of things about that job so i quit and luckily i posted something on my instagram story one of my fans from the MTV show, three years or four years prior, he DMs me, he says, bro, I sell door to door. And I was like, dude, I need to watch you do this. I wanna kind of see how it goes. It looks nuts and I wanna push myself, you know, cause I pushed myself out of my comfort zone recruiting, like going up to a high school and networking, talking with a counselor and setting up a presentation and then presenting to kids. Like that's freaking stressful, man. As an, even as an adult, I was 26, but you got a room full of 18 year olds and you talk to them about joining the army. It's like, it's not an easy presentation, but getting through that built a lot of confidence. So with door to door, I'm like, this is going to be the hardest thing I can possibly do. But when you do things that are challenging, you grow from it. So I went out and I sold door to door Vivint Smart Home, great product, home security with all the all the bells and whistles, the cameras and all that. And it's a fun product to sell, but it's very difficult to sell door to door. So it's the, the hardest thing that I've ever done for sure, the summer of 2020. And I also built a team. So I combined selling uh, the systems and my recruiting skills I took to social media I recruited a lot of studs off of TikTok. I made $55,000 in my first four months doing that and the way it works is you work real hard in the summer and then you take the rest of the year off so first summer I made 55 grand everything was going good I was chilling I was enjoying life in the off season great life in the off season man and um, right before my second summer starts, I tear my Achilles. Now, when I tore my Achilles, I couldn't walk. So I really got screwed. I couldn't make any money selling door to door. It's commission only. So I'm laying in bed and I'm like, dude, I gotta make some money, but I can't walk. So what do I do? I combine my skills, right? Talking on camera, recruiting, um, growing on TikTok. I had mastered TikTok at this time too because I was using my business for teens TikTok to build my door-to-door -door sales office that I've built. And um, I combined everything I knew and my passion for sports and sports betting. And naturally, I'm, I've always watched sports and naturally I'm really good at math. So I've always loved sports betting and just the math behind different sports betting strategies. So I really became the first guy to make money in the sports betting niche on TikTok. And now there's 
over a hundred dudes making a living posting sports betting content, but I was really the first to the party. And um, yeah, it was, it was life changing stuff. Now today I have multiple streams of income and I, um, with the sports betting TikTok pages, I'm able to bring in um, near a hundred thousand dollars a month during my top months. You know, of course, after a month like September, I take a week off or so just to recharge. I can't do it 365 days a year, although I make content every day. Um, you know, I just need a little bit of a break. But ultimately, what I've done is I've partnered up with apps that are growing sports betting apps and they need to grow their user base. And each user, they might value at $500. They might say, hey, if we have a thousand users, um, our company is worth $500,000. If we have a million users, whatever the math is on that, but they value each individual user at 500 bucks. On average, the lifetime value of a customer is 500. It's probably way more than that. I'm just making that up. Um, but if that's the case, they can pay someone like me 300 to to bring them in or 100 to bring them in. And it's called affiliate marketing. It's just like if you have Cash App and you refer a friend, Cash App will give you five bucks or whatever it is. Um, just like on Uber, if you refer a friend to Uber, they'll give you like 20 bucks in credit to buy food. And what happens is, is people that have social media followings in a certain niche, they might be able to get, you know, 100 people on Uber. And then all of a sudden they have 2000 bucks to spend on food. And they've kind of hacked the system where they'll never have to pay for food delivery again, because they might be getting five people signed up every day, they're getting 100 bucks for Uber every day. Same thing with what I'm doing in my niche, where I make content on sports, and then I'm getting people to get on these apps and play and I'm introducing them uh, to these apps that I have promo codes for and partnerships with. Just It's just a aff standard affiliate deal. Anyone can email them and get a code and then you know you start getting people signed up. But I look at what I do and I constantly try to teach my friends and I constantly try to show people. I'm like, dude, I made 90,000 bucks, do this. Um, but what I've realized is I'm combining like five or six or even maybe 10 different skills and it's not something that you can just immediately do. So for you watching this video, depending on where your skills are, you know, you might be able to plug them in to different parts of my story and start doing something. Maybe you start reselling on eBay. Um, maybe you look at more into affiliate marketing or maybe you come out, sell door to door. I'm recruiting, I'm building an office right now, and I'm really excited about it because the guys that just sold with me this past summer, they crushed it. And we have a really good group, but I'm always looking to grow that each year. My goal is to find five studs. So I'll probably sign like 15 guys. And then by the end of summer, we'll have like five studs. That's usually how it goes. Maybe 33% of the guys that come out end up, you know, maybe out of, the, out of the 15, maybe 10 to 12 do well. And then five really see the vision and really, you know, pursue it as a career. But yeah, if you're interested in that and you want to work with me, guys, these guys are the dudes that I talk to when I, you know, find a new system to make money. These are the guys that I call when I have $100,000 a month. This is my inner circle. And if you want to be a part of it and you want to join the team, get some sales skills, you're interested in that, just shoot me a direct message on Instagram, on the Cody Thrive Instagram, and I'll be, you know, DMing a lot of people on there. So I'll see your DM and I'll respond to it. And let's get this thing going. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to document this. Freaking September 2022, $90,000 uh, when you subtract what I paid my sister-in-law, you subtract travel expenses, probably like 65,000 profit. But yeah, we're chasing that six-figure month. It was a good, good month, my best month uh, to date of my life. So a new personal record for me. Let's keep it going, boys. Let's stay motivated, work out, do the right things. I'll see you on the next video. Hit me up if you want to work with me. Peace.